Hi, I'm Elijah, I'm 16 years old, I'm a junior in high school, and I'm a future leader of Over the Rhine. Hi, I'm Michael Warren, I'm in the eighth grade. Um, I go to Creative Performing Arts, and I'm a future leader of Over the Rhine. My name is Leontay Moore, and I'm a future leader of Over the Rhine. Hi, my name is Marcus Allen, um, I'm 16 years old, I go to Taft High School, and I'm a future leader of OTR. Hi, I'm Amaya Jones, and I'm a future leader of OTR. Hi, my name is Antoinette Black, and I'm currently the new program director for Future Leaders OTR, and I'm so excited to be here. Working with this organization is something really amazing because it's truly a place that's for the youth, by the youth, and I've been with Future Leaders since October. So Future Leaders was created about three years ago in 2014 by our wonderful founder, Ryan Messer. He had a vision to create a safe haven for the youth and the community. And that's exactly what Future Leaders is. It's a safe haven, it's a support system, it's a family. My favorite thing about Future Leaders is the community dinners because it brings us together closer because we all make a meal together. Everybody makes one dish or helps cook the food in one way and it really at the end of the day it tastes good and it's fun to eat with people you cooked with I guess. What I really appreciate about Future Leaders is the fact that it's a sense of community and we're building a family together. It's a support system and we're always there for each other. Each one of us are family members and we love each other for that. Miss Renee Banks was the first program director. She did an excellent job creating different principles and pillars that we still hold on today. Our five initiatives are personal development, professional development, community engagement, financial literacy, and college readiness. A few of the programs that we've done since I've been here with Future Leaders, we started off with leadership. So just understanding the youth's own leadership style, what their voice is, how do they become leaders. And then we focused on branding and we discussed personal branding. So I really had them understand that for you to understand your brand and how to represent yourself, you have to know who you are. The most helpful thing we did in Future Leaders were making resumes and doing mock interviews because that actually did help me get a job for the summer. Resume building helped me because now I believe that I know how to apply for certain jobs. I really appreciated the mock interview training because it helped me best represent myself and it got me a job offer. So the personal side was understanding who I am as an individual. Then we focused on professional branding. And as the youth have discussed, we had a resume workshop where they had people from our board come and they actually conducted mock interviews with them. And some of our youth have received jobs as a result of that. So now the third phase of our branding is when the youth are learning how to combine both their personal and professional tactics that they've learned and use it as a platform to display their pitch nights. Now their pitch nights are an idea that they're going to use that they want to see different things in their community, something that they feel is missing that represents their age group and based off of that we're going to display that at one of our fundraisers and the fun part about it is the audience gets to vote on the pitch night and whichever pitch wins is a pitch that we're going to see if we can actually do in our community what's next for future leaders um what isn't next for future leaders we have a lot in store we're getting ready for upcoming fundraisers we're getting ready for college tours and an exciting thing is we're getting ready to send more youth off for study abroad next summer a few other things that Future Leaders is preparing to do is get ready for some tours in the city. We're going to the Spring Grove Cemetery and the Union Terminal sometime in September and that's very exciting. Lastly, we just want to say thank you to everyone who has helped. Um, our board members, they have been excellent. They're such a great support system for the organization. The community partners, thank you so much for supporting us and giving us your time and effort and allowing us to collaborate with you all. We appreciate you and all that you do for us and we can't wait to begin to work with you all more.